After months of silence, vague statements, and growing frustration among the PC building community, Oshrock has finally broken its silence on a troubling wave of AMD Ryzen 9000X 3D CPU failures that plagued users of their AM5 motherboards, and it took a direct confrontation by Gamers Nexus at Computex 2025 to make it happen. With a well-respected tech outlet sitting down with Chris Lee, Oshrock's VP of Motherboard Business, to press for clarity on the issue that has sparked widespread concern across forums, social media, and YouTube. Because until now, the only response from Oshrock had been a dismissive claim back in March suggesting that their board showed no signs of defect, blaming burnt CPUs on user error or simple socket contamination, even stating that a bit of cleaning would restore the board's functionality. A stance that quickly unraveled when they quietly pulled BIOS version 3.20 from product pages without explanation and released a new BIOS 3.25 during Computex. Again, without fully disclosing the changes, but now, in their first on-record interview about the issue, Chris Lee has pointed to three main causes of these catastrophic failures. First, user mishandling, such as thermal paste contamination. Second, memory compatibility problems which he claims were fixed in BIOS 3.20, and third, aggressive precision boost overdrive PBO, settings embedded in Oshrock's firmware, which the latest BIOS 3.25 supposedly mitigates by lowering thermal and electrical current thresholds such as TDC and EDC. And while this admission is certainly a step forward, the overall tone and substance of Oshrock's stance remain troubling, especially for those customers whose CPUs were damaged under default settings, with no overclocking or PBO enabled, yet still reported visible pad scorching, socket damage, or unexplained shutdowns, suggesting that the problem may run deeper than just firmware tuning. And when asked about this, Lee admitted that Oshrock has not investigated potential alternative causes, such as VSOC instability or out-of-spec voltage delivery, an omission that raises serious questions about the depth of Oshrock's internal diagnostics and the seriousness with which they're treating this issue. And while Lee did confirm that the new BIOS limits power more conservatively to prevent further damage, he failed to provide specific current values, leaving users and reviewers in the dark about how effective or safe these changes really are. And making matters worse, Oshrock's warranty policy as described in the interview, covers round-trip shipping for affected motherboards, but pushes responsibility for CPU replacement onto AMD, creating a frustrating customer experience where users must juggle two companies and endure long wait times for resolution. And to top it all off, Lee acknowledged that boards currently being sold at retail may still carry outdated BIOS versions, meaning that new customers could unknowingly install a board that lacks a critical 3.25 fix, forcing them to manually update the BIOS before even powering up their system, a risky and potentially damaging situation for unaware buyers. And while it encouraging that Oshrock has finally begun addressing the problem, many in the community, including Gamers Nexus, believe that the company's lack of transparency, poor communication, and refusal to accept deeper responsibility is damaging its reputation in a highly competitive motherboard market especially when other vendors have handled similar situations with more urgency and openness. And the idea that no Oshrock boards are defective feels overly defensive when multiple verified cases from seasoned users and reviewers show failures even on brand new builds. And whether it's due to VSOC misbehavior, weak voltage regulation, or an unstable firmware implementation. The evidence suggests that this issue is more than just a user side problem. And unless Oshrock becomes more forthcoming, about their power delivery design, voltage tuning, and firmware development process, it's going to be hard for the enthusiast community to fully trust them again, particularly on premium Ryzen builds involving expensive CPUs like the Ryzen 9800X 3D and 9950X 3D, which are already high risk due to their aggressive boost behaviors and sensitivity to thermal and voltage parameters. And with gamers Nexus now calling on affected users to come forward and share their experiences, the pressure is on Oshrock to either fully explain what's happening or risk being left behind by more transparent competitors like Asus, MSI, and Gigabyte, who at least acknowledge issues and provide clear change logs or protective BIOS updates. And while Oshrock may claim that its new BIOS solves a problem, the community won't be satisfied until they see hard data, detailed documentation, and most importantly, a genuine willingness to own the problem instead of dodging blame. And that means reevaluating their 
support strategy, warranty terms, and QA process to prevent further damage to both CPUs and customer confidence. Because in the world of high-performance PC building, reputation and trust are everything. And once they're lost, it takes more than a BIOS patch to rebuild them. So for now, if you're planning a new AM5 system or considering a Ryzen 9000 X3D chip, it may be wise to exercise caution and stay updated with community findings before choosing an Oshrock board. And as the investigation continues, we'll be watching every development and bringing you the facts that matter. So make sure to subscribe, like, and share to stay informed. Because here on Techverse, we don't just report the news. We dig deeper, question everything, and bring you the full picture straight from the heart of the tech world.